In this video, I'm going to be doing a full tutorial on how to get a free membership in Prodigy using a teacher account. This is also going to go over how to get teacher rewards from your teacher account as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. If you did not know, you can get a free three month membership from Prodigy using a teacher account. And of course, like I said, that is what I'm going to be showing you today. So let's start with how to create a teacher account. All right, so here we are on Prodigy's main page. You can just type in Prodigy on Google, Prodigy Math Game, and it should come up with this website. If you click sign up, this is for if you do not have a teacher account already, you need to click sign up and then you would click on the teacher option right here. Student and parent are different things. And so it should give you the option here to create your free teacher account. You will need an email. So if you do not have an open email, if you have an open email, go ahead and put that email in there and you, one that you don't have a teacher account already associated with. So if you do not have any teacher accounts, you can go ahead and put an email that you have in there. In this case, I do not have any open emails, so I'm going to create a new one. So I can go ahead and put that in there and I will see if it works. All right, so I finished creating the email and now I'm gonna start by putting the full name. I have just, I'm gonna name it the same as my other teacher accounts. So in this case, PMGP teacher six. And now I'm gonna put my email in, the one I created. All right, so now I'm just gonna finish putting in the username. And then after that, I'm going to put in the password in the password field. And then I'm going to select uh, the terms and conditions and then create account. That is what you are going to do when creating your teacher account. So you're going to get this loading screen and it is going to take you to this screen right here, which is where you select some options. This is your class creation. You can select the country or the curriculum if you want. So just do whatever that applies there. And then if you don't teach at a school, click that and then enter your class name and select a grade. It doesn't matter. Create classroom. And here you have it. You have a classroom created and here you see it gives you the option to start off with a 15 question goal to get a singe newt. But now you need to add uh, your account, your Prodigy account to your classroom. So yes, you can see you can go through all these places here. So you can add students in the home section and you can click link accounts and then go to your Prodigy account and type in the class code that you were given on that screen. Click save and your class, you're now in a class. That account is in the classroom. And so then you click continue back at the classroom, click continue, finish, and then you can refresh the page and you should have your account now linked to the classroom and you can get the rewards now, the teacher rewards that Prodigy has been providing. But first you can start off with the, um, you can start off with the singe newt. You can select the set 15 question goal and it will place the account in a uh, goal to finish 15 questions so that they can get the singe newt. And after you get the singe newt, you can get whatever teacher reward is currently available. Right now, that would be the chonky cat. And so that will appear after you have finished the task of getting the singe newt. And the stu student also should be in the placement test as well. So that is also what uh, goes along with the singe newt. So now we're going to move on to the section of getting a free membership using this teacher account. So right here, we have progressed a little farther. We have the chonky cat available to get because we got the singe newt already. And up here 
is the button to share Prodigy. This will appear uh, a few days after creating the teacher account. So this is going to be kind of a longer process. Um, like a longer process that takes uh, several days to uh, complete. So just be patient with it and follow the steps that I tell you. So you need to add another account so either that could be that could be a new account that you create a new google account or uh, one you already have and you're going to type it into this option right here and say send invite that's what you're going to click and it tells you you have a limit of 10 invites per day and it has sent the invite to that google account now this is another period of time that you're going to have to wait the invite will not appear in the Google account for around two to three days. So in two to three days, you should have the email appear in your Google account. So you would click on it when that appears. And I will transfer to that now and when there's been a couple of days. All right, so a few days later, we got the email on the Google account. And once you have this email, you're going to want to click the link that says try it out. And that is going to take you to Prodigy's website yet again. Right now I'm on mobile. So here it is. We're going to put in that same email because you are going to be creating a new teacher account with that email that you send the invite to. So create the teacher account with that email that you sent the invite to then click the terms and service and create account and you should go through all the steps that you would have gone through earlier if you were creating a teacher account so uh, curriculum do or don't teach at a school type the class name and uh, select the grade that you want your class to be and again, it doesn't really matter. And so your uh, account, your teacher account will be created. Then you just need to go back to the Prodigy website or Prodigy itself and type the new class code that you find on the account. Type it into the settings section, just like you did the last time. So yes, you would need to connect it to a different account because two different accounts to do this video. This is where you will find uh, adding the account and there's the class code, enter the class code. Here it is. You're now in the class. And when you go back to the website and refresh, you should have the student in your class. And so that's basically all you have to do. After this step, you just need to play on the account for a day or two, and once you do, the membership should appear on the account. Now, this might be quite a complicated process, but I hope I broke it down in a way that is as simple and able to be understood as I can as possible. Of course, if you are confused at all or have any type of question, do not hesitate to ask me in the comments, I will be happy to answer. So, I hope this video helped you out, and I will see you in the next one.